spicing up the spotlight. It's about 11 minutes past 8 p.m. And of course, we got to ask Empress Sativa, how is your typical day? And of course, like a true, true, true militant, is what she had to say. I know if you skin teeth are love You can see a man's face But you can't see his arm This is Empress Sativa the Lyrical Machine And you're now in tune to Queen Nazizi Ro Ro Roots daughter Nazizi And the musical Sheriff and Vibes Radio Vibes Radio from Nairobi to the world no, 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 Nobody can stop reggae A typical day in my life from a rise to give eyes is to the most side of the Empire, the Celestia, the first, and a perfect balance Empress men in. Reverence is important, spirituality is important. So, you know, when I have to take these moments, give thanks and praise to the Creator for blessing I and I with life in abundance. I am big on family, so we make sure so the you taken care of and the king man taken care of. Constantly in close connection and communication with my parents and siblings and nieces and nephew. We have to make sure them know how much we love and appreciate them throughout the day. So we have to link them up and text them and just have, you know, the moment for a reason. And find them things necessary for I and I. It's threatening I and I, you know, for up my village and make sure that my village is, is good as a musician. I'm always I try to figure out how we can expand and expand on the craft. So currently I'm learning the guitar. So I find time throughout the day. What is an hour, half an hour? To live a kid, you know, to learn in the instrument. Most of my day basically spent writing, listening to rhythms, you know, sitting down and trying to create songs. That's where most of the time goes. As a own person, it's rare that you will find Empress Sativa anywhere, you know. If you see me out, you know, it's like a rare sighting because me, I prefer my home, you know. Me is a person who love for just. You know, focus on what really matter that a family you know many other times i find so we're always old on the road traveling a lot so when i actually find a downtime where i can you know reconnect with the family i find them time the precious and sacred i'm a value and cherish it he's not a road person you know there's nothing out the road with intrigue I and i so if it's not a necessity like a rehearsal or we now have studio time, you know, I mean, I need to go to the market more than like it, but they have my yard. And I hold my own vibe, you know. I stay with my kin, them, yeah, man, my family, me love them, man. Them strength, I and I. So that's my typical day. And if we did basically in a Jamaica, I'm going to shop, you know, making sure that everything I run proper at the store. Yeah. That's a typical day. It sounds boring, yes, to many. I don't know if people think it would be exciting with all type of different little things. But no, man. I like my yard. You know, my life is visit my family. My life is go to Mavis Bank, go sit down with my uncle, go look on the mountainside, go chop cane and little thing. They walk out in my yard, go pick little fruit, sit down underneath the tree. Them things they are inspiration to I and I. You know. The worldly thing where I see people run on them things don't matter to me. My typical day from a productive is a good day. It's a great day. You know, and productive also includes communicating with people who mean the world to me. Family members where we have this heart to heart connection. You know, we strengthen each other's soul and spirit. Yes, I. Vibes Radio, we rule the nation in this generation. Yes. Okay, and uh, 12 tribes of Israel showcase is something very important, by the way. Yes. A lot of elders were not Gapo, you know, Mekuja Kwai celebration, yeah, 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 12, yeah, 12 tribes. tribes. Yes. And so, you can't, not just anybody can get on stage, yes. and not just anybody can come there and mm -hmm. just fanya mambo zenu. You yeah. have to be a positive youth. Yani, yes. my elders were Mekuvet. Yes. So, imagine 13 years old, 
and you are there in front of the elders unajua hii sauti ndio kwa anaangalia kama nyuma ya microphone but that's why she so now i understand why she's so so conscious Unique. yeah yes. yeah man and now since rising to prominence in 2013 with chants like judgment marching out of babel and the song that you just had oh la la that is going to come um, a bit later consistently she has maintained her presence both on the local and international market with mellow moods in a jamaican part two with kabaka pyramid also uh done also for all for one mika shimaya motherland and dread at the control still surviving and also freedom and yes we got to ask her where do you draw your inspiration from and who could be your favorite artist where do i draw inspiration and who could be my favorite artist i draw inspiration from life itself from my own experience from other people experience you know simple things from just a look on an african painting i and i can be inspired for right about africa you know from walking down the road and seeing somebody i feel a big for them really British inspiration as sad as the whole thing is even that in itself is inspiration and we realize I am a person who feel deeply the plight of many people so you know whatever that individual I feel I feel like it is important for me for right about it kind probably not the voice though so life in itself is inspiration for I and I Who could be my favorite artist? Um The more meeting about this question, who could be my favorite artist? Is the more I realize I don't have a favorite artist. No. I don't have a favorite artist. To be honest, I'd usually answer this question by saying yes and I'd mention Desiree. And that still not changes and I get me wrong, you know. I love Desiree to life and I big up Desiree, you know. Straight in a St. Cry wherever you are, big up Desiree. Yeah? And for who don't know Desiree, it's D-E-Z-A-R-I-E. Look up our music. You'll never find anybody with, with a more conscious message like this lady. She's been doing music since 1997. To this day, her message has remained constant of consciousness, of Rastafari, of militancy, you know, of truth and right and balance. And that is the reason I usually say, yeah, Desiree, but the more I also look into it, there's many other artists out there who growing up usually listen to and have the same exact feeling towards, you know, like a burning spear also. Like a Peter Touch, a burning spirit who is a legend where reggae music is concerned, you know. This man of an intonation where he basically just need to chant one sound, one word. And even that in itself is, is so impactful when the man has said, Repatriation, repatriation. Just to hear him utter that is not like at the first time I ever hear repatriation. But at the feeling behind it, is the energy behind it, at the force behind it. When we realize once again how imperative it is, you know, lest we forget we find ourselves back in a slavery. We have to think on a more economical level. We have to organize and centralize. That's how the feeling that I get when we hear them on the top of repatriation. You understand? When we think about all of Peter Touch, like when we say how oh, honest and raw them man they was in them interview, them not afraid to say bumbo cloth and just, you know, tell you exactly what it is and they don't care. If them lose any endorse, endorsement deal, they don't care if them lose any support. It needed to be said, you know. And every artist come to be humble, you know. Some people have to be like aggressive. Because I realize eh, for the people out there where I do evil, them I do it aggressively. So we have to counteract that positively in a more aggressive scale. We have to speak truth 
You know, rise through it, farm. Regardless of who it offend and who it hurt, it must be said. And these are the reasons why I love these people. And I can't choose a favorite amongst them. Because all of them music inspire I. For one, I can write the same type of music. Liberation music. Rebellion music. You know? Music for awaken the mind of the masses. Music for inspire thought. You know? So, can't choose a favorite. I'm not lie. And there are so many others out there. Growing up, me usually listen to. Oh, me I tell you, so the same way them make me feel about music, but them name now I come to I and I Evans right now, you know. Unfortunately, when me look on all like all of Sizzler, you know how much youth Sizzler make turn Rastafari and come chat and come chat Rastafari way, eh? You know many youths can't choose my favorite man. We just grateful to these ones. Trod the earth and I've been on that fake and hear them music. I'm glad them write them music here. Yeah. yeah, man. Vibes Radio, we rule the nation in this generation. Yeah, shining this spotlight right here on Season Circle on Empress Sativa. Now, Empress Sativa, um, yes, and in 2017, Empress Sativa released her debut album, Unconquerable, independently, produced by the label Conquering Lion Records, with collaborated efforts from Ranking Joe on the track Natty Dread, and uh, anthemic songs such as Rocket in a Dance, which you just heard, and Walada Deng, which is coming Wadada in later. Oh, we love that one. Inakuja, you, Inakuja, <laughs> mixed by Paolo Baldini, yielding 11 million views and still counting on YouTube. <laughs> heavy, heavy, I'm telling you. And then 2018, the sophomore project, Scientist Meets Empress Sativa in dub, LP dropped featuring 10 analog, okay? Yes. Analog mixed tracks, not digital. Uh-uh. Analog. She went back <laughs> to the roots thing, yeah. Yes, uh, from the scientist adding to her ever growing catalog. Now, we got to ask her if we expect any new music, and this is what Empress Sativa had to say. Yes, I can always expect new music all the time. The thing about me is, me don't feel compelled to try to be relevant. That is not me. But people don't even realize what Empress Sativa means. a very reserved person. He's not a person where you want to see out a road. You know, I try to chase the clout like what them would have said on a hype, you know. When I need to be seen, I need to be heard. You know, when I start out in this music thing, I block my sound in a man, I block my reverence and I say straight up. When I want to bust in this man, I just want to be heard, man. I want to be. The person that can speak for truth and right, for speak for the vice of the oppressed. So you can always expect new music. All the time you have music right now. We're just away upon the right ideal time where we have everything aligned like how we envision it before we release it. And not before then. This is Empress Sativa, the lyrical machine, and you're now in tune to Queen Nazizi, R- R- Roots Daughter, Nazizi, and the musical Sheriff and Vibes Radio. Vibes Radio, from Nairobi to the world. No, 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 nobody can stop reggae. As yes, we go to ask her which of your songs is closest to your heart and why, and this is what Empress Sativa had to say. Which song is closest to my heart and why? You know, all of them are. It's like having a baby. All of them bird from out of my creative thought process. So they all mean the world to me. I'm just grateful to get the opportunity where I can express it freely. And ones are in support of the music and constantly strengthening I and I journey and movement. But all of them mean the world to me for different reasons. This is Empress Sativa, the lyrical machine, and you're now in tune to Queen Nazizi, R- 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 Roots Daughter, Nazizi, and the musical Sheriff and Vibes Radio. Vibes Radio, from Nairobi to the world. No, 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 nobody can stop reggae. Sheriff, like yes. we said earlier, 
it's so important to be real. Yes. And that's what I love about Empress Sativa. Yes. Even in her questions, she hasn't felt pressured to say these things that artists say. Yeah. To be for, diplomats. Uh, doing it for TV. Doing it for, <laughs> for TV. Radio. <laughs> oh, doing it for radio. So yes, we got to ask her what she dislikes about the music industry. And I tell you, mm. she dislikes a wall of things. I have 20 guys. What I dislike about the music industry, the biasness and the cronyism, straight. You have so many talented ones out there who are more than capable of surpassing these standards set by these so-called, you know, artists who in the mainstream, who everybody are glorifying and praise. You have many ones out there who are more talented than them and given the opportunity to expose them talent can yield great benefit for the culture. But instead, somebody feel threatened, you know what them do? Them try to stifle that individual from being heard, from being seen, from being supported because then you're going to go and tell a person, say, don't support the one that can't be not talk to them or don't support the one because them is not part of the link. And them think they're going to the music, you know? And many people don't know. And I find that so the ones that we do speak out get ostracized for speaking out about something where everybody knows they exist. But because nobody wants to offend the and or get them the job or get them the deal or get them the gig, they don't want to offend these people. So everybody just play blind. And then tell us, oh, we're our brothers, we're our sisters. But they, they, they turn them back upon the person who don't fit within them circle. You understand? Them things that have a change in the music, you know. We can't talk about what we're doing for the culture when you're not allowing all people from different spectrum of the culture to, en to enter into the industry. You understand? Everybody where you see a boss, or you think them boss, uh, somebody call up the person and name or tell you, say, this one is the next one, and bring them up. And then everybody just start to say, yeah, this is the new biggest thing only because the, the, the big name artists are called the individual. is a handout. You know how much are we a tech bus to go with show from way back in 2013? Literally tech bus, bus, transportation to these venues to perform, paying with dues. You understand? I do a rehearsal, hours upon hours. And then they make it look like all our hard work is nothing in comparison to them smart work. You understand? And them think that need to change your music industry. Else you're going to find that a lot of talented Artists don't get the opportunity to be seen or heard. Vibes Radio, we rule the nation in this generation.